Welcome back to the latest edition of the UNA Week in Review presented by Lions HR. UNA basketball wraps up the first half of Gulf South Conference play with four big wins. Find out more right after this. What would you do with an extra two to three hours per day? Would it surprise you to know that the average small business owner spends more than 30% of his or her time on issues related to human resources? At Lions HR, we've helped hundreds of business owners lower their employment costs while giving them back the time they spend on such things as hiring and training the right employees, sourcing affordable employee benefit plans, providing the right workers' compensation insurance, developing effective workplace safety plans and employee retention strategies. You can take back the two to three hours per day you're spending on all these things. Contact Lions HR and let us show you how. The UNA men's and women's basketball teams each reached the halfway point of the Gulf South Conference season with a pair of victories last week. The two Lion teams recorded home wins over Lee before going on the road to knock off Shorter. The UNA women continue to hold second place in the GSC standings. The Lions are 14-3 overall and 9-3 in league play. Against Lee, the Lions built a 20-point fourth quarter lead before holding on for the 74-69 victory at Flowers Hall. Kiki Gunner and Michaela DeKilder each turned in double-doubles. Gunter had 19 points and 10 rebounds, while DeKilder scored 17 points and 18 rebounds. Emma Wallen added 16 points for UNA. At shorter, UNA was able to rally for a 76-74 late lead before holding the Hawks on the final possession to seal the win. Ivy Wallen led all scores with a game-high 27 points for the Lions. Emma Wallen added 17 points, while Kiki Gunner had 14 points and a steal on the game's final play to secure the victory. Three straight wins, including two last week by the UNA men's team, have given the Lions a boost in the conference standings. UNA improves to 10-7 overall and 5-6 and in league play. Against Lee, UNA used a dominating rebounding performance throughout the contest in the 83-66 victory. The Lions out-rebounded Lee 45-21 on the night. Tavares Tolliver scored a game-high 23 points to lead UNA. Jeff Hodge added 13 points, while John L. Guinea and DeAndre McKinney tossed in 12 points each. Just like the women's game, the UNA men's game at shorter came down to the closing seconds. Two free throws by Tolliver gave UNA an 87-86 lead with 48.8 seconds remaining, and the Lions got not one, but two defensive stops down the stretch to seal the win. GSC leading scorer Phil Taylor missed a runner at the buzzer to clinch the win for North Alabama. Tolliver recorded a game-high 23 points for the second straight outing. Guinea also scored 20 points for the second time in the last three games for the Lions. Austin Timms added 13 points, and Demario Jackson tossed in 12 points to round out the top scores for UNA. Both UNA basketball teams will return home for their next two GSC games. The Lions will host Mississippi College Thursday at 6 and 8 p.m. before welcoming Delta State to Flowers Hall on Saturday at 1 and 3. Thank you for joining us on this edition of the UNA Week in Review presented by Lions HR. I'm Shane Herman. Stay up to date with all of UNA athletics by going to www.roarlines.com.